Hello, this is Gary007 and welcome to my channel. This is Avorian Mods. Uh, this is this this topic we're going to explore different mods within Avorian. I'm hoping to do uh, a bit of a series on mods in the game and sort of do, and and do it on a regular basis. Uh, um, I I think there's um, a lot of cool mods out there that make quality of life improvements that Avorian probably should have put in the game themselves. <laughs> but that's my own opinion. Um, hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell notification because I do put out uh, Avorian content on a regular basis. Well, I try to, you know. Um, anyone that's come that comes into the game, I'm hoping that they get something out of this. Uh, leave a like, uh, leave a comment. I want to know what sort of mods you like running with. Uh, but this is just a small sample of a few of the mods that I like. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first mod that I I like is the resource display. Uh, so this just displays your resources in the top left hand corner at all times. It shows your inventory slot, cargo hold and credits. You can move this around, you can move the U, uh, UI around wherever you want to put it, like you can put it in the middle of your screen if you want or you can move it back to the corner. I don't know why this is not in the base game. Leave a comment below, I always thought that this was in the game originally and they took it out. I, yeah, I, maybe my memory's a bit wonky. <laughs> maybe I'm going senile, but I always thought that this was all part of the base game originally, and they took it out. For some reason, I don't know why. But, uh, this is a cool mod. It requires you to download another mod, so just keep that in mind. Not super complicated to download two mods. Um, but yeah, I, I'd highly recommend this one. Detailed Tarrant Tooltip. Now this is another mod. This is one I like. The geeky side of me. Uh, I like to see all sorts of stats on a on a on a weapon, so you can make um, informed decisions when it comes to uh, what sort of DPS turrets you want to put on your ship. Uh, so because sometimes it's not super obvious, uh, you have to go off the the vanilla version of what it's telling you and try and work it out. Uh, this one gives you a real breakdown of it all um, and. And it's really, really super, super help, helpful. I love this uh, mod. It's been around for a while, but yeah, uh, download it if you like this sort of thing. I love it. It doesn't give you what the base game gives you. So yeah, it gives you a lot more um, damage uh, multipliers and, and really breaks down what, what's involved. So yeah, awesome. Uh, this is my... Number one, all turrets independent. I like independent tar uh, targeting. I always use independent targeting on my ships. The only weapon that I don't use independent targeting is a cannon. I like to manually aim them because they got a they got a lead time to them. So, but every other weapon, you know, independent targeting. I like in independent targeting. I just don't like the penalization that's in the game. Because you get penalized 50% of the DPS if it's independent targeting. So now this is like a uh, damage increase without the penalty. So this is this is awesome. I love this. Just keep in mind if you download this mod and you're in the middle of a game, everything in your inventory is not going to be independent targeting. It doesn't do that. Going forward with any weapons you pick up or you go to equipment dock will have that independent targeting mod on it. Uh, but not the stuff that's in your current inventory. So just keep that in mind when you download this mod. Uh, but this mod, yeah, out of 10, I give it a 12. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. So the next one is a trade route, uh, route tweaks. Uh, out of 10, I give this a 12 as well. And I don't know why this is not in the base game. But anyway... That's just a different thing. That's what mods are for, I suppose, to tweak the game. This is quality life a million times, you know. It tells you what's in stock and um, what's available to sell and what, what different, uh, like a shipyard will want or uh, factories or trading posts wants. Why this is not in the game, I don't know. But that's why it's a mod. That's why we have a modding community. 
Um, I wish this makes it into the base game. I wish it does at some point because this is awesome. It just stops you getting out a calculator trying to work out how much the other factory wants without overspending on, on items. But yeah, if you like trading, get this mod. This is a recommended. Out of 10, I, this is a 12 for me. And yeah, this should be in the base game. This is really awesome. I love this mod. Anyway, I better move on before I say it's awesome again. <laughs> So the next one is um, crew board tweaks. I like this mod. Again, why is this not in the game? Why is this not in the game? So when you go to hire crew, instead of going into another screen, it displays it all at the bottom for you. This should have been in the base game. It just it just boggles my mind why it's not. This is a great idea. This is this is a, this is a huge thumbs up. It requires another mod to download with it. But if you're looking for crew, it displays your crew, what your crew is at the bottom there. And you can fill in the gaps with um, how much crew you need for your ship. Without going into your ship and having to look at it, the crew manually, looking at another screen. Uh, this is this is quality of life for me. Um, this is awesome. This should be in the base game really too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope it does make it into the base game. Ah. Uh, Galaxy map quality live now this one I know won't make it into the base game, but Shows you your different resources and also shows you where the bosses are on the galaxy map uh, This one's really good uh, When you're trying to look for where bosses are in the coordinates in the galaxy and to complete the storyline side of things I, I, I like it for that. It's, it's really good it, Um if you're struggling to find bosses, download this mod, mod and it's going to help you um, track down where all the bosses are part, as part of the storyline. Um, yeah, this is a this is a this is a go-to mod. This is a um, this is one I like a lot. And if I don't want to um, see it, I can hide all of this. But yeah, this is a cool mod. So this mod is a Vorian Journey texture pack. Uh, so this changes the textures of um, the blocks in Avorian to something different. Uh, download it, have a crack at it, go into creative mode and see if you like it or not. Um, I like the texture pack, it's pretty cool to play around with. Uh, the guy Black Disciple, now I don't know the guy, I've never spoken to him, I don't know him from Bar Soap. But he's got a YouTube channel, go check it out if you want to know how to build stuff. This guy is amazing. He's been in the community for a while. He's done some amazing builds, ship builds, that put my stuff to shame. He doesn't talk a lot on the um, videos. There might be one video where he does some talking, but that's fine. Just sit there, be patient, and have a look at what he does. And you'll pick up some tips and tricks of how he's doing things, and you're like, oh, I can do that on my ships. So go over and check it out. Um, you might sh see in the workshop a lot of his designs, his spaceship designs. Again, can't speak highly enough of his modeling skills. It's just It just blows me away. So go check it out. But yeah, this is a mod, uh, Journey Texture Pack. Um, have a play around with it. It just changes the blocks, the way they look. Um, I think it's quite an awesome little mod. But yeah. So how do we go about and... Um, downloading these mods so if you sign into Steam go to workshop so we just select workshop and then we'll just scroll down and we select mods and there's all of our mods for Avorian uh, so <clears throat> you can go to all time and you'll see the most popular and you'll see them being upvoted and all the rest of it and there's a lot of mods there to go through, so I'll probably do another video and we'll go through a few more mods and stuff like that and hopefully do a bit of a series on it. So what you do is you, you select the mod you want and then you hit subscribe like you do when you're downloading spaceships. So you just subscribe to them and then the next thing you need to do is come into the base game. So come back into Avoring and you'll need to go to settings. Then go to mods and there's all your mods displayed and then you just go refresh and your mod will come up now 
I'll just pause in the video here. You'll need to select it. Now you'll notice that I've got a bunch of mods that are in red. That means they're out of date. So the ones that I've shown you ha are out of date. However, uh, I think they're only out of date because of their version number. And the person that does that try uh, tries the modders um, probably haven't got around to updating the version number. Some of them are not compatible anymore. Uh, so you just read carefully when you're looking at on the Steam Workshop at mods. Uh, most of the time, it's just a version update that's gone wrong. Uh, but yeah, use your own discretion, uh, discretion when it comes to these sorts of things. And don't blame me if it crashes. Make sure you make a save game. <laughs> save a game before you down, um, decide to kick a mod, uh, um, use a mod like this that's in red. Um, again, because it could crash your game. Um, but yeah, have a look at it, read through it, and see what sort of issues other people have come through, uh, come up with. Usually it's just the version number. Sometimes the model will tell you straight away that, oh, this one's out of date now, and they don't plan on updating them. So yeah, anyway, if you like this sort of content, um, um, leave a like, uh, leave, leave a comment, let me know what sort of mods you run. And yeah, alright, I'll see you out in the galaxy. Okay then, bye.